Articulation Radio. Articulation. Salutations! Welcome to another informative and entertaining episode of Articulation Radio. I am your host, the Honorable Walking Man. You know how we do things here at Articulation Radio. We will start off today's episode by taking a glance at the news headlines. And today's news segment is sponsored by BePublished.org. These are three of the news headlines and events I saw today, Tuesday, July 20th, 2021, when visiting EliteValuesNews.com. Want to own part of an American castle? Investors accepted via Regal City Investment and Social Club for Bougie Connoisseur via RegalCity.xyz. Premier Daniel Andrews will announce details of the lockdown extension for Australia later this morning amid new cases of COVID-19 in states including Victoria. And the Freedom Fiesta at EGG starts at 10.30 p.m. today and ends at 4.30 a.m. tomorrow at Egg London Nightclub on York Way in London, United Kingdom. Those are three of the news headlines and events I saw when visiting EliteValuesNews.com on your behalf this hour. Be sure to head on over as soon as you can. As a matter of fact, any minute within any hour because we report on various news categories. And as a matter of fact, the staff, because so much goes on in this world, as you know, and the staff here at Elite Values News makes it a point to keep you abreast of as much as possible. So head on over to EliteValuesNews.com at any time you choose and just press enter and you'll be able to have access to news in various categories. Be sure to head on over right now, EliteValuesNews.com. I am Goddess Sage reporting on your behalf. Looking for the latest news? Visit Elite Values News. EliteValuesNews.com has all the latest news and information. Check out the headlines hourly. EliteValuesNews.com. Visit now. Do you want to be published? Are you looking for a high-quality, low-cost way to be published with a fast turnaround? Visit BePublished.org to publish today. www.bepublished.org. BePublished.org. Publish today. Books, movies, and music. Listeners, we love you, we hear you, and I am so glad to be here with you today on this episode of Articulation Radio. I have an interview coming up for you, and I also have a topic, so stay tuned.
ArtistReview.com. All artists need a platform. The Artist Review makes sure you have the one you need to put your work in front of your fans. ArtistReview.com. Artist, R-E-V-U-E.com.
you like a motivational speaker to come to your company or organization to speak to your group, visit lifespurposeministries.com. That's lifespurposeministries.com. If you'd like more information on how you can be an eyelash artist, call us at 314-560-1641 or 888-585-LASH, lashingoutloudinc.com. Today's episode of Articulation Radio was kicked off with Soon It's Springtime by our own Goddess Sage, and following that, you heard Wavy by Marcy Largo. Now, before I play The Horizon of Love by Stonekeepers featuring Rebel Day, let me tell you a little bit about today's topic, which is titled Benefits of Morality. Now, before I dive a little deep into that, let me first tell you that the main reason why I titled today's episode Benefits of Morality is because the Arthur Rusty Skipper has written a book called Remedies for Saving Our Youth in Today's Troubled Society. And Goddess Sage will be interviewing him, so be sure to stay tuned for that. But I also wanted to, in light of that, take this time to share with you all, because I know in today's society, a lot of people feel like really the reason why it's such a troubled society is because not only is it that the adults are immoral, but they haven't passed on morality or responsibility to their kids and things like that. But, and some people say it's because, hey, you know, what are the benefits of it? You know, people who do right um, still get shitted on. You know, people who do wrong seem to thrive. So it seems to be this um, penchant to lean toward doing the most foul things and seeing how it kind of works. But people, there is a good reason. Well, there are many of good reasons to do right and do what you know is right to whatever it is that you know is the right thing, whether it's things you were taught or things you learn, live it and pass it on to people. And let me just tell you real quick, because I know our time is tight. Um, I want to bring on Goddess Sage and, and that interview um, she has with Rusty Skipper. But People, oh, and head on over to Amazon and grab up his book and his website skips all around.com. But head over to website to um, Amazon right now and grab up that book, Remedies for Saving Our Youth in Today's Troubled Society by Rusty Skipper. And but people, let me tell you real quick just a few of the things right off the top of my head that are some of the benefits of morality. You know, number one, there's kindness and there's courage. You know, in addition to being kind, you know, you're courageous um, when you're moral. You um, you know, there's humility, initiative, um, leadership, fairness, self-awareness. There's also an acceptance of reality, um, a optimism, a wholeness, a selflessness, empowerment, benevolence, peace, joy, purpose, focus, discipline, um, faith. Charity, you know, just to name a few of the things that, you know, immediately come to mind as some of the benefits of morality. But again, whatever your morals are, you know, live that so people can see it and also take the time to teach and and talk about it to the people who are willing to listen and learn about it. You know, don't try to get people to be like you because none of us have it so together as um, Dr. Mary Jefferson always says, you know, no one has it so together to where we need to be trying to go around and make copies of ourselves and try to force people to replicate who we are. You know, we're not so great to where we deserve to have duplicates out here. You know, we're all still trying to get it together, but at least what we know is the right thing to do for people who want to do the right thing and are seeing the benefits of doing the right thing. Go ahead and, and pass it on. Pass it on. Take the time to pass it on. But people, I'm going to go ahead and play that song for you, The Horizon of Love by Stonekeepers featuring Revel Day and bring on Goddess Sage and Rusty Skipper, the Arthur. But head on over to Amazon, grab up his book. Also, check out his website, skipsallaround.com. It's under control. Instruction, but be sure to check back periodically. But um, go to ham- Amazon.com right now. Grab up this book, Remedies for Saving Our Youth in Today's Troubled Society. Stay tuned. You are listening to Articulation Radio. Head on over to articulationmedia.club and let us know your thoughts. The phone lines are open right now at Articulation Radio. Call 312-899-6237. That's 312-899-6237. 
peoplewarmer.com. Book your travel today. Peoplewarmer.com. Wherever you want to stay. Peoplewarmer.com. Book everything you need. Peoplewarmer.com. Go ahead whenever you please. And if you need advertising, marketing, and promotions, add on an S and head on over to peoplewarmers.com. That's P-E-O-P-L-E-W-A-R-M-E-R-S.com. wanted to start a business but can't seem to get it off the ground? Call 972-880-8316 for your free initial consultation with a representative from The Conglomerate or visit theconglomerate.work today to book your consultation in person. Theconglomerate.work, T-H-E-C-O-N-G-L-O-M-E-R-A-T-E dot W-O-R-K, theconglomerate.work. Call 972-880-8316 to start your new business today. Do you frequently shop online and you're looking for a new place to shop? 
Join the club, jeffersontaylor.club, where models, designers, inventors, and other creators offer customers the best products at fair prices. Jefferson Taylor, jeffersontaylor.club. Join the club. Shop today, jeffersontaylor.club. Articulation Radio is very happy to have on the line with us today the Arthur, Mr. Rusty Skipper, straight out of New Orleans, yeah, you know, so let's see what's popping down in New Orleans. Mr. Skipper, yeah. how's everything going this morning? Everything going 100 down here on our end. Oh, for real, for real, that's what it is. And now tell us a little bit, you know, how you feeling this season, you know, we're going to just go ahead and just go straight for your jugular. So uh, what do you think the Saints going to be doing this season? I think the Saints going to be doing pretty good because I'm thinking they're going to start Jameis Winston. I mean, because when they got Jameis Winston right now, I know they got a pretty decent quarterback. So I think the Saints going to do pretty good. Man, yes, yes. And we also know that also here in New Orleans, you all not only have – constant events and you know new music and everything pouring out you all have a host of artists as well as local community events that are going on and I know that inevitably there are going to be some readers of yours who already want to know where they can find you and all of that so let's just address that from the door do you have any upcoming events or any places where people who buy your book will be able to go and get the book autographed or even to pick up autographed copies of it. Well, it could, I have the barber shop. I have a barber shop that I do a lot of my campaign and I write on Gentilly, 3026 Gentilly, called Park Place. And 3026 Park Place is the barber shop that I work at because I'm also a hairstylist. I cut hair out as well because I move around Ooh. throughout the city and I sell my books like that. Yeah. Yeah, I work in a barber shop myself, and I also may go to other barber shops. Sometimes I, I even cut up, I pull up and cut hair by people houses and everything. I may give a few books away. I got some that I sell for ten dollars. Then I have these real big ones that's that's in uh, books a million on Amazon, things like that. Barnes and Noble, I sell them for twenty dollars, and all of them they're in color. Very cool, and and the people now for those of you. Who are just tuning in my name is goddess sage and you're listening to articulation radio and i am interviewing the arthur mr rusty skipper now his book is titled remedies for saving our youth and as he just explained for those of you who are interested in getting your copy autograph or even to grab up an autographed copy from him, you can just roll up on him at his shop. Or even if you have it to where you have an appointment scheduled and he's coming out to your venue to go ahead and give you that cutter style, then you'll be able to get an autographed book on the spot there. And tell them again the name of your shop and the address. The, the address is 3026 Gentilly Boulevard. The name of the shop is Park Place. Then my email address is Professor, as like in college, Professor Rusty, 35 at gmail.com. Professor Rusty, 35 at gmail.com. That's me. I mean, you can get me that way. I mean, my number's on there. I got all my information on the line. You know, I do, I pull up, I do motivational speaking. You know, I, I do, I, I do pop-up. I do, I'm, I just get, I just engage myself all types of ways to try to push, promote, and propagate my book where there may be a football game, Tulane, the Saints. Uh, the Smoothie King Arena, wherever they at, and I, I have I wear a lot of colors, so you may see me with yellow shoes, red shoes, uh, gray. I mean, I got I got all colors in my book, so I'm gonna have them colors on, like when you see me out there. Oh, so no. I'm so to definitely be able to pick you out, even among yeah, the crowd. Yeah, you spot me. You, you can really spot me, and I usually got that book sack on my back with the, all my books in the back, and I got all these colors on. I mean, because that's what I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what it is right there. Now, Mister Rusky. Tell them a little bit about your book. You know, let them know. Well, first of all, now, people, you can get Rusty Skipper's book, Remedies for Saving Our Youth, from Amazon. But not just Amazon. You can get it from any book retailer anywhere in the world. Just tell them the title, which is Remedies for Saving Our Youth, and the author name, Rusty Skipper. Both spelled the way you would expect, Rusty Skipper. And so (laughs) now tell them what inspired you to write this work and to touch on this topic. 
Okay, let me because check that right. Because this is a big, quick. heavy one. Remedies for saving okay. our youth. I mean, this is a heavy one. Okay, let me touch it right quick right here. First and foremost, unfortunately, I was in prison. I had I, I was incarcerated for 21 years. I was in Angola, Louisiana State Penitentiary in Angola. And throughout that journey, I became a tutor, educator, in a lot of different areas as far as, like, the GED department. Where you had, where you get, I helped a lot of guys get the GED in school that that didn't have the GED. I also did AANA. I did the Dillers Group. I did character counts. I did. I'm an HIV and AIDS and hepatitis um, peer educator. It was a lot of classes I did. What promoted me, inspired me to do this book because I kept running into so many young guys that came from the same situation that I came from. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> that didn't have a lot of the values that my book possessed and contained mm-hmm. everything that my, my book, my book had, I knew we needed that. So I said, I know what I need to do. And I knew I wanted to write this book and I written this book already in my mind. It took me 45 minutes to put this book together. Mm-hmm. 45 yeah, because minutes. you were speaking from your heart and that's what, yes, yes, yes. Tell it, tell it. And that's what that's what that was that 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 really inspired me to write this book because I had so many young guys around me inside this prison. I'm talking about from everywhere. I'm talking about black, white. They had a few uh, Mexican brothers in there. Every every race was in there just about. Right. Asian. And I just I yeah. just couldn't be around those guys. And I had all I had the ability to teach and share and reach. And that's what I did. And when I really realized, it just came to my seat. I'm going to write me a book. I say, well, tomorrow I'm going to the team and write me a book. I already knew what I want to do. And just like you'd be, if you're in school doing like a little project, mm-hmm. the construction paper, the yellow, the red, the green, the blue, and all that, I got the, my construction paper. And I did, I was always a writer. So I did my writing. The writing was nothing for me to do because I read so much. So I mean, mm-hmm. what I wanted to put down on paper, I just scribbled it on there. And I got the little clear plastic and the little, the little back that you slide it down. My book was ready. I, I bought that to the education the, uh, the excuse me the education building, and I showed it to the doc, uh, doctor Henry Sanders because that's who I was working yeah, for. Yeah, let him see your manuscript. Uh huh. Yeah, and I let him. I said, Doc, what you think about that? He said, Man, this good. Um, who put it together? I said, I just did the last. I said, I just did that um on the, on the last night, yesterday morning. He said, Man, you shit me. <laughs> excuse me. Excuse my friend. Mm hmm. But and that's the way it, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what. Um, that's you what inspired me. So book. many books, you it was in you the way they're supposed to be, and you didn't even realize all those years you were reading those books and loving those books that not only were you internalizing the messages from those books, but you also had read so many to where the format of them were burned indel- indelibly on your brain to where yeah, it was I, time for you to go ahead and step into that calling and do the book that God laid on your heart. It was easy for you to just put it together the way you know books are supposed to be done. And I can't help exactly. but ask you this because I know that you the inspiration was indeed, you know, your peers, the uh, men that you were there around when you were incarcerated. But I'm sure that since you've been out and you've seen the way this has taken off, how it's reached men and women, young and old, um, older adults, you know, the teenagers. So talk to us a little bit about some of the feedback that you've heard from some of the females that have come in contact with this work. Okay, I got a, I got a lot of the females. I go to churches and stuff, and I talk to them about with this book. And they, and they, they can use this book. I tell the females a lot of times when the male is absent in the house, this book could take a place where there's like a lot of questions that's supposed to be asked to the king. I got them in there because I got I got questions in that book in my book, and they got so much with to deal with your character, discipline. I'm talking about every form of the, the the human. I'm talking about mental, physical, spiritual, social, all them type of beings. I got questions in there, and just I got answers. You know who are you know what is the spiritual being? What is your intellectual being? You know what all what all do you do? What your social being? You know, one who's one who's uh, socialized, one who learned to uh, communicate, converse rather, things of that nature. Like I got everything in there that they would have to, they would know, or uh, need to know that could actually help them move forward. You know, throughout their daily yes. in life. Oh yes, and I love that you say um, that. Pretty much, you um, wrote it to for the benefit 
of these, um, not only the individuals um, and the families, but also for humanity, period, to be sure that future existence um, has a better chance to experience, you know, more morality, more ethics, and, of course, to have that longevity. And now let me ask you, because I'm guessing that you are a family man, so talk to us a little bit about your family and your upbringing. And also okay. in, the, in the way that you raise um, the children that you have and those that you come in contact with, the things that you impart on them. Okay, my my family, uh, my family, my, my mother and father did, but I mean, when we came up, when we came up, we were always surrounded by mother, father. You know, I had my brother Glenn, I had other two sisters. You have a nice size family with the dining room table. Everybody had to eat at a certain time, and you can't eat if your brother not here. Go get your brother. You know, we had that mm-hmm. that unit when we came up. And that's what I miss so much because that's what I come back out here. And remember what I say, like, I was incarcerated for 21 years. And I had to come back out here. I didn't have any kids when I went in. But I have okay. one son now. And I have my son. That's the one I'm going to hold inside my book. I got a, a page up inside of my book when I have a little something when I express about who I am and what's going on with me, a little insert in there. And I'm holding it in, in my hands while I'm sitting up there talking about it. But I have one mm-hmm. son right now. He's about to make six. Oh. And um, it's just, it's, and it's just like all the kids I run into, I just be wanting to sit down with them and just read and share a lot of this, share this book with them. Cause I know just sitting down and sharing, they don't have this. And they're not equipped with what's in this book. They yeah. don't have none of these. They don't have none of none of none of these these little, these little tools. They're not in their boxes. And this stuff we put to have this this kind this little thing we we had right there. I mean, when I got these here. See, they got this like that, like the primary language. This is like self. This is like the first language when you get into your house. You all your morals and values, everything. Right. So when you leave your house, you'll know how to carry yourself when you go by other people's house and stuff like that. That's what I be talking about when I be going around. Like if I got to go talk to females, I might got to talk to some youngsters and stuff like that. I want, I be want to teach them how to carry themselves, how to be like yes. young men. You know how to carry. You know how to use your word usage and stuff like why it's so good and, and so important to read. I change your vocabulary. Yes. That's and let I mean. me ask you this. Have you also noticed that while a lot of people will assume automatically that um, works like yours are mainly for children who grew up in a household without both parents, have you found that there have even been married couples that are telling you that your book is helping them to parent or children that come from two parent homes that have been able to learn something from your book that they're like, you know, I, mom and daddy didn't tell me this or, you know, mom and daddy yes. uh, tried to yes. tell me, but it didn't yes. help. help. Yes. <laughs> yeah, talk to us about how you were, you're yes. even able to help those kids in two parent homes as well with this work, Remedies for yes. Saving Our Youth. Yes, I know. And, I, and like I said, I, I, when I wrote, when I wrote this, when I wrote this, when I penned this book here, it was really for, it was really for, um, you know, some of that was in this critical situation I'm talking about that just couldn't figure it out that, that I figured that I knew that didn't have mm-hmm. it. But like you just say, like, I just, we just talked, we were just with a family um, uh, about six weeks ago. And then we had a party and I was selling the books I had selling the books over there, and they found out I was the author up in there, and they was buying the book, and I, when they got it, they read it and everything. And then I had seen them again, and they were like, man. Just, and the same thing with you, they said, they were like, they the first asked me, like, what school you went to? Because they said, you know, we didn't get none of this. Hell, where you get this from? <laughs> you know? And they were like, what, I, what I'm speaking of in there, that's self-talk. You know, I got, I, got, I got a lot of this stuff from my parents and everything, but I'm talking about, when I when mm-hmm. I unfortunately like I say when I went to hell what I call a prison and I changed that into my college and inside that mm-hmm. I was labeled as a professor up in there as far as like what I was doing because all the work that I was doing in there and right. I had a, I had a lot I had a lot of other guys in there with me but I'm saying like you know I really did I really turned the whole prison around for when all the youths come in there when they came to and they had to deal, deal with all that but like. Yeah. The, the lady she was telling me, I was talking to a lot of them because a lot of them, they wouldn't even deal with, uh, not even dealing with the situation that I come from or what I experienced. And she was just telling me, like, 
uh, everything in the, in the book is like, man, she said, we never heard none of this. All is good for her. Everything wow. is good for her. You know, I mean, because it's like, I speak reality. I'm going I'm to give you the mm-hmm. real. I mean, everything in the book is going to be real. If that's it. That's it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be good because I got God all through that. And and let me ask you, and this is going to be my next to the last question because I know your time is tight. And I'm well, I'm gonna try to keep it next my next to the last question. Now, um, for those who are listening and are like, you know, I I want to do the same thing. You know, I feel like I've been given this message, or there's something I know I want to say, or you know, but I I have already written up my manuscript, like you said. But look, man, I know it's gonna cost the money and. Things are tight, you know, and, and COVID-19. So, you know, they got a million excuses. Um, so for those people who got a million excuses, yet they still claim they still want to do what you've done, what would you say to them to help them move past what they claim is holding them back? It's, it's, it's like this here. If you want it, the only way you can get it, you got to change something that you wasn't that you that that you wasn't doing. I mean, just you got to start doing that. You got to believe in yourself. So they got a problem. A lot of people I notice, and uh, I mean, especially when I just had to come through and what I've been doing, I just been putting all my money in this book. I mean, it took me, like I say, I couldn't believe it. it took me four to five minutes to put it together. That wasn't nothing to me. But I'm talking about when I got the opportunity to get the book and publish it, you know, put the the, the begin blowing life in it. I couldn't believe how long it took me to, I mean, the money and the, the time, I mean, because it's like, I'm talking about almost like, I got close to two years, my mama. And I'm, I'm like, almost like $12,000 I didn't put this in that book right now. And that's one book. Like 12, I'm like, I ain't know it cost that much. Mm-hmm. But that's a lot like, of people don't think about that marketing, advertising, promotions, because even you can attest that the cheapest thing to do is to write it because that's going to take you time. It doesn't cost you the money. And then yeah. it's that publishing and, you know, that process, the formatting, the buying copies, um, you know, buying books, marketing, advertising, promotions, it all adds up. And like you said, it, it is key. You have to believe in yourself because at the end of the day, we all know that our money follows our heart. And just oh, yeah. like the same person will say they can't um, afford to fulfill their dream, but yet if they can save up that money instead of going and nickel and diming this and that and getting that instant gratification yeah. here and there, exactly. you know, maybe yeah. instead of getting exactly. a fifth every week or, you know, getting that recreation every week or entertainment every week, how about just once a month and then those other three weeks, that money can be put back to materialize your dream to where when you do have your party favors, you're celebrating something that you've achieved, whether it's oh, yeah. a small step forward or whether it's having the whole thing done. You know, and and then, yeah, you can really celebrate. Let me say this right quick and put on what you had to say when you asked me that question earlier. But one thing I never did, and I, that's what I love about myself, because I never gave up, because no matter what it was, and I did not have myself with so much, like, uh, you know, because I, like, mm-hmm. I like having a nice ride. I like to have my pad, my house nice. You know, I did not close, you know, and I just deny myself that because I just started throwing that money in my book. I mean, buying yeah, shirts, sacrifice. you know, going yes. out to, you know, to put myself out. You might see me in the Superdome. Like I said, you might see me, you see me anywhere. Like, they got a game, a high school football game. When you look at them bleachers, you be like, man, who that is? Lord, he got that, he got a pink shirt on with some pink shoes on, you know. Like, mine, and I might have, rusty, mine. Like, that's And I'm like, when I got my book on the front, like, I, like you know, man, this was happening. I got a quote on the back of a T-shirt. Let you know this this what I'm this what this what I'm about, this me. And that's how yeah. that's just how I move around throughout the city no matter where I go. If I'm out of town, I'm moving like that. And, yeah. and it's gonna be it's gonna be different ways but, um, you know, just promote my book. I mean if I promote everybody if I promote the clothes that I wear, why I can't promote, promote my book while I wear Exactly, because it's the same thing. It's a product and it has to be promoted and constantly and daily. You know, to everybody and to the same people multiple times. You it know, gonna be but time yes, it's gonna, it gonna be time where, like, uh, like, like you said, uh, it's gonna be time where it don't feel like you know, it ain't doing what I needed to do. And I mean, I feel like, and it's just like you know, it ain't pop, it, it ain't hit like what I wanted to hit, like where I got it, where I can just do what I really want to do as far as like get my van and I want to paint it the way my book looks 
And then I, you know, had the youngsters. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow it up. I want to do something else in the neighborhood that nobody's doing down here. Uh, nowhere mm-hmm. I see you know where like you just involving them like you ain't just going to see them here now. We do this every day. They're gonna start doing it. They're gonna start driving the vans and doing this here. You know, taking yeah. them. We're gonna buy lots. We're gonna buy lots and fix these lots. We're gonna teach them how to let's build houses. You know, let's build yeah. this house. We're gonna take our time. One, we're gonna build this house. We're gonna build. This is gonna be our place where we're gonna go at. This is gonna be our. This is gonna be our headquarters right here. We're gonna build it. And I mean yes. that's the way. But when everybody, by the time every time everybody get building, building that, you know, we gonna have some skills now. Yeah, we pay for them to go to school. That's what I want. That's what I want to get into, so we can check, we can kill that crime rate. Cause they ain't doing nothing. They ain't got nothing to do. They don't have no skills. They, de- they definitely don't have none of these other tools that I'm talking about. That's in my book. I mean, cause mom and dad, you know, daddy been gone and then fell off out of went to jail, maybe on drugs or something like that. There, he just kind of fell off on another level. And my aunt's scuffling, she's doing the best she could do. And I, it's like, you know, somebody got to somebody got to help with it. I mean, we can't be talking about, you know, anybody. And, you know, like, like, um, and, and I got I to gotta, I gotta cut in right there because I'm sorry. Like, that's one of my yeah. big peeves. I've noticed a lot of times we do perpetuate that. But quite frankly, there are a lot of moms who are not doing their jobs. And unfortunately, they know that they're the only ones that those kids have. And then they drop the ball on it or they mistreat the kids or are bitter as fuck and constantly telling the kids bad stuff about. So, no, there are a lot of bad-ass mothers out there, too. And that's why, you know, a lot of kids are actually still being raised by their grandparents, which is an atrocity. Um, But let me ask you this. This is my last question for you now. (laughs) What is there? that you would like to be sure to share with the listeners of Articulation Radio that you've not yet had a chance to share with them. It could be a message that you have particularly to, um, you know, the black men, or it could be a message that you have in general to people in this world, period. Um, Just what is there that you'd like to be sure to say to them um, that you've not yet had a chance to share with them? I like everybody. I like everybody just, I mean, just take a, a inhale and, and just and exhale. You know, maybe like just three times and I mean, just, just let that go. I mean, you know, we got, we got to get this thing where like, you know, where you just feel full on the inside. Cause right now so many people is empty in the inside, even our kids. And that's just like a the world. Cause everybody coming, they got anxiety. Everybody coming, they stressing. And it's like, you know, we need to slow down. We need to pay attention. That's why I said that's why I'm talking about that inhale and exhale. We need to really slow down and take our time and focus. Get brief focus. And just pay attention on what's going on all around us. Cause, you know, man, when light when death come, it's coming to get life. It ain't got no particular ones that's coming to get. That's why I like to share everybody. Just stay focused, stay conscious. Yes, yes, and definitely, people, get involved. Be proactive. Um, Don't keep waiting for someone to do something that you know very well you're supposed to be doing, can very well do, but you just need to get up and get out of your comfort zone. And number one, number one, too, focus on your health. Yes. If your health health not number one, you you living upside down. If your health not number one, you living upside down. I mean, your health have to be number one. Have to be. Yes. Yes. Because after all, people, you know, if you do not have the health that you need, the um, wherewithal, the um, state of mind that you need, the presence, yes. the conscientiousness, um, you won't be able to be effective in anything that you do. You'll literally just be spinning your wheels. And now, That's people, right. I want you to head on over right now to Amazon.com, um, Barnes & Noble, whatever is your favorite bookstore, Books A Million, whatever it is, head on over right now, web- even if your iTunes. favorite bookstore around the corner. You know, go ahead and go on into the shop, order up Remedies for Saving Our Youth. By Give Russell your boy Skipper. some play. Yes, definitely. And people, make it, make it a point to, after you make the purchase and you receive your book, do 
go back onto whatever website you ordered it from and drop a comment. Leave that review. Go ahead and leave those stars. And because whether or not you realize that people do appreciate that feedback, and no one's asking you to say a certain thing. We just want the feedback. You know, we already, yes, appreciate the purchase, but definitely appreciate that feedback as well. And do continue to spread the word to other people. Let them know, grab up Remedies for Saving Our Youth, and not only get the book, read the book. Apply the messages from the book and be sure to share it with your youth. Be sure to go ahead and you can even have different little reading clubs there. Um, you can even have it to where you pull together a virtual event and holler at Rusty. You know, he'll, I'm sure, will be open to Zooming and coming onto your event, right? That's right, 100%. See, I'll make 100%. it happen, make it happen. And tell them again where for those who are in New Orleans or whenever um, any of your readers happen to come there, where they can drop by with their printed copy of your book and you can autograph it for them. Tell them the name of your shop again. Then it's so good. Again, it's right across the street from the public library in Gentilly. It's 3026 yeah. Gentilly Boulevard, Park Place Barbershop, right across the street from the public library. Get it in, y'all. Head on down that Nile is, and go ahead and grab that up from Rusty Skipper, that Remedies for Saving Our Youth. And you be sure to hang tight, people. I'm going to roll a few more cuts for you. Yeah. Media Room 360 TV. Media Room 360 TV is a channel that has something for everyone. From world news, inspiration, programming for kids, politics, sports, technology, and entertainment, Media Room 360 TV has got you covered. Check out one of our shows today on Roku. Media Room 360 Internet Television on Roku. And if you need a speaker, head over to Media Room 360 Speakers at MediaRoom360.com. That's MediaRoom360.com. was all alone Whether right or wrong You know I'm with you, I got you, man We gon' make it home right I seen a man, they watch it in Don't break them and stop it I made a bag off the profit I keep my blickers, they plotting Whether right or wrong you know I'm with you, I got you, man, we gon' make it home But I seen them live they watch it It ain't no breaking or stopping I made a bag off the profit I keep my blickers, they plotting you chose the other chose side, the other we side. came out through some situations, but you skated right, you skated some shit will right. never be the same, won't let it hurt my pride, and I'm so solid with my niggas, we can't fold on nines, just trying to make it through the day, I grip that 40 tight, I can't get caught up through the night, my bro, it lost his fight, and I can't hear the conversations, cause they burnt the vibe, it's no debate, it's no relation, cause I stand on mine, I'm sipping Julio, I think it's time I lay it down, I see my ops and best believe that I'ma spin around, steady with the nigga, acting, please don't take a bow, know you really Really was a funny metal changing now. Whether right or wrong, you know I'm with you. I got you, man. We gon' make it home. But I seen a baby, they watch it. it. Ain't no breaking or stopping. I made a bag off the profit. I keep my blickers, they plotting. Whether right or wrong, you know I'm with you. I got you, man. We gon' make it home. But I seen a baby, they watch it. it. Ain't no breaking or stopping. I made a bag off the profit. I keep my blickers, they plotting. The love built through the mud ties. It's no need for discussions, we burn them down like they rushes They burn with that nerves, no percussions I keep my distance from drama, fly to stay from a thunder All the hate below need me do this for Zay Know you see me in all the way, you look through me Wish I could change some things truly, but this the life that I live It's so hard to forgive, I'm still just taking it in No, we started as friends, but it was deep from begin Bro was weighing it in, and now he home from the yard They can say I'm a sellout, cause I'm a ride for my squad Yeah, we know he a fraud for attention, niggas running, chasing cops, but claim they driving in business. I can't fall not to mention. She know I love her demeanor. I embrace all her flaws. You know I like me a diva. I lit the weapon but I'm told and I sit the loose movement slowly. And I can never change focus. And right or wrong, I'm all on it. Whether right or wrong, you know I'm with you. I got you, man. We gon' make it Whether home. Right I seen the baby, they watch it. It don't break in the stopping. I made a bag off the profit. I keep my blickers, they plotting. 
Whether right or wrong You know I'm with you, I got you, man, we gon' make it home But I seen them men, but they watch it It ain't no breaking or stopping I made a bag off the profit I keep my blickers, they plotting if you are a savvy senior who's seeking a lifestyle club that's centered around you, visit sittingroom.xyz today. The Sitting Room, sittingroom.xyz, where savvy seniors socialize, get event invites, organize among themselves, as well as obtain merchandise and get engaged to create new things. The Sitting Room, sittingroom.xyz. Visit today. That cut you heard was titled Right or Wrong by Mega Matt. Up next is Jesse's theme by Rachel Ann Cox and Good Times Are Coming by Ellen Styles. Articulation Radio thanks you so much for listening. So head on over right now to articulationmedia.club and let us know your thoughts on today's episode. In the meantime, we're going to keep the show rolling for you. Are you looking for grant writers, technical writers, creative writers, academic writers, any kind of writers? Head to the Writers Consortium, their website, writersconsortium.us, www.writersconsortium.us, the Writers Consortium, writersconsortium.us, for all of your writing needs. Think of it, they can produce it for you. They are the ghost writers to the top people. Weddings are expensive, but your love is worth it. Go to MarryUsNow.us to book the Minister of Love to officiate your wedding today. The fee is only $200 if your wedding is in the city of Chicago, and there is only a small fee to get the Minister of Love to travel outside of Chicago to your wedding location. Book the Minister of Love today. Visit MarryUsNow.us. That's MarryUs. Now dot us.
Want to buy stocks, jewels, real estate, or other high-end items? Would you love to be able to contribute to charitable initiatives but cannot do these things with the money you currently have? Join Regal City Investment and Social Club where you can pool money each month with other investors to make major purchases, give to the needy, and possibly turn a profit. www.regalcity.xyz Become a Regal Citizen today by joining Regal City Investment and Social Club. Regal City dot x y z my people my fam my folks i thank you so much we all here at articulation radio thank you so much for tuning in today and making us a part of what it is that you do we encourage you to go over to our website articulationmedia.club and let us know not only what you think about today's episode but make sure that your music Your interview and your ad all take place right here on this station, Articulation Radio. Go to articulationmedia.club right now and hook yourself up. Make sure that you do that so you can hook other people up. But be sure to tune in again on Articulation Radio. We'll catch you again soon. And in the meantime, you already know, keep being a doer, keep being a move maker, and keep making things happen. Articulation. Articulation.